Right you guys, got another video here for you. This one's on how to install Windows 8 Consumer Preview into VirtualBox. Now I've been asked this quite a lot by people on how to do it. They're saying they're trying to do it and it doesn't work. And I'm going to show you the reasons why it don't work and how you can get it to work. Well here we have uh, VirtualBox. Now VirtualBox is a piece of software you can download for free. And uh, what it does is it allows you to run operating systems inside your OS. So you've got a computer with your OS and this will allow you to run that operating system, another operating system inside of that into a little window. And this is how I do some of my videos. So uh, as you can see I've got Windows 7 and Windows XP. And now we're going to be doing Windows 8 Consumer Preview. This is a free download to so you can have a look at Windows 8 before you buy it. And as you can see here 64-bit and 32-bit versions are available although they are pretty hefty in size so you will need a fast download uh, speed to actually get these files. There is the actual key that you use to um, install the software and as you can see it's English, Chinese, French, German and Japanese the versions you can get and they're free to download and try. Okay so now we've done that let's uh, get on with the actual installation process. What we've got here is our software and I'm going to go to the new tab here and then we're just going to go through the motions here. I'm going to type in Windows 8. Let's just put a space there. Okay, Windows 8. And then this will give us the Windows 8 version down here. Go next. And this is where you can pull the slider bar up for the memory. I'm just going to whack it up to about there. You can do whatever you like there. This is the bit where I'm just going to create a new hard disk. Go next. Now you can select which one you want. I'm going to go for the VirtualBox disk image and uh, dynamically allocated and I'm going to go to fixed. This is the one I want. Go next. Now I'm going to leave this on 25 gigabytes and that will do me and then I'm going to create that. So that's now complete. What I'm going to do is click create and this will now be ready to install our Windows 8. Okay so that's now all created so what we want to do is go to our settings tab then onto system and we want to make sure that we've got enable IO uh, APIC is and got a tick inside there make sure that's enabled then we want to go to our processing tab or processor tab and make sure we've got enable PAE and forward slash NX it's got a tick in there then we want to go up to acceleration and make sure we've got enable VT and enable nested paging. Now enable VT is a virtualized technology and that's something that's enabled inside your BIOS. Now if that is not enabled in your BIOS then you will still have problems running the installation process. So make sure that you put a tick in here and you enable it in your BIOS. It should be enabled by default but it may have been turned off by you or someone else. So make sure that's enabled. Okay, once you've done that, you want to go into storage, and then there'll be a place here called IE Controller, and this is the actual uh, CD virtualized CD ROM drive. And what we're going to do here is click on this and choose a virtual CD DVD disk. Click on the Windows 8 Consumer Preview ISO. I've all, I've got mine on my desktop, but you'll just have to locate yours and then click open and then you'll see it listed here. Then click OK and then basically all you need to do now is click on Start OK this should now start the installation process if you start to see this little bit in the bottom you know you're installing OK, so now we just have to install. So I'm going to leave this as it is at the moment. I'm going to go next and then install. Pretty similar to Windows 7. OK, it's going to want our key now. So we just installed a key that was given to us on the website.
OK, and then we go next. Now we need to accept the license agreement and then go next. And then we want to click on this one here, custom install. And from here, we're just going to go next here and let that install. OK, so we're just going to restart this. OK, so we need here a PC name. You just need to add in your PC name. Just going to add mine in there. I'm going to use Express Settings here. You can go into Customize if you want. I'm going to skip that out. He okay, wants to put a name in for me, so I'm just going to put Brian in. Click finish. Just to finalise your settings. And do what you like here. So you've got your desktop, which will show you your desktop, just like Windows 7. And so on. Internet. And what we'll do in, a f in further videos, we'll start to have a look at Windows 8 and go through some stuff and see what we can do and what we can find out. But this is just basically on how to install it into a virtual box so you can have a little play with it yourself. So I hope this has been useful to you. My name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also rate and favourite all my videos if you enjoyed them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.